So something a bit different today, guys. Uh, we're going to be paying a visit to Peter Beard, a.k.a. Panda Performance, a local Honda specialist with a rolling road who has offered to put the car on the dyno to give me a baseline figure. The XGD9 TE engine in the car at the moment originally put out 90 brake horsepower. Now a couple of modifications have been made since I've owned it, more noticeably the front mount intercooler, the warm air sucker and a 2.5 inch stainless exhaust system. Now the Bosch pump comes from an earlier XGD engine as these are originally Lucas and it has been wound as much as I dare go. The LDA pin has also been turned for more aggressive fueling on boost. So at this current time, the actuator on the turbo hasn't actually been touched, but we are making 20 PSI. This is more down to a piss poor tune on the fuel pump on my behalf. So my estimate is the car will roughly make 110 brake horsepower today on the dyno. This is more down to the piss poor tune on the car, the amount of coal coming out the back, and a couple of inherent problems the car currently has, such as boost leaks. So we're in the absolute middle of nowhere and now we're just around the corner from Panda Performance. So let's see what this makes on the rolling road. Okay, so just got back, uh, car absolutely smashed my expectations and actually made a 35 brake horsepower gain. That was 15 more brake horsepower than I'd predicted. So um, there's my benchmark figure of 125 brake horsepower and let's see what the new engine makes. Cheers for watching guys and uh, keep tuned.